Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming, and today I'm bringing you a Turos and Giratina deck. So, how's this combo work? Well, Turos' attack powers up for every damage counter on Turos or Turos GX, gets an extra 10 damage for every damage counter on them. Plus, the Turos GX also hits hard if he's got lots of damage counters on him. Rage, 10 extra damage for each damage counter on this Turos GX. Plus a Mad Ball GX, 30 times the number of damage counters onto Turos GX. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to use Giratina to shadow impact and get damage counters onto our Turos and Turos GX, and also help with the Shrine to get extra damage counters onto the Turos GX. So we're hitting with Giratina to try and er get early prize cards with Giratina, and then smash Smashing through later with the Turos and Turos GX, and that's really how the combo works. So shall we begin? I think we shall. Hello Wolfinator, letting me go first. Alright, Rengar up front. We can get a Judge turn 1, which could be good. I'm assuming this is probably Gyarados. Who knows what it is with that. So we'll nest ball here. We'll go and get ourselves our first Inkay I think. With that nest ball. Uh, we'll judge his whistle here, draw a card. That's kind of nice to get. Get you into the bin. Go and get myself a second Inkay. We'll chuck a shrine out here. And now we're going to judge. For the moment we'll start setting up Turos, not that I really want to set up you, but anyway. We'll instruct. Gets me another card, just an energy card. I probably should have chucked on the Orangu actually, just so I had a retreating option. That might have been good. Who knows. We'll just leave it at that. So what's this going to be? What energy to the ditto? Vulpix. I'm assuming this is for Gyarados. Which means I really need to get going now. Right here, right now. Wouldn't mind a judge's whistle just to rejudge. Or the second judge. That could work. But I doubt I'm going to get it. So we're probably looking at a lily just to try and get myself up and rolling. I don't know what I thought it was. Certainly not what I was thinking it would be. I'm going to Lily for four just to see what I get myself before I play too much more. Because the Tyros, it's useless bringing you in right now. We can't quite get Giratina going this turn, but we can get pretty close. We're going to go and pull in Giratina because I do need you. Chuck an energy onto you. We'll psychic recharge onto you. We'll instruct for one. Got a second Malama. Certainly don't have issues getting enough energies to the Kiratina, just don't have a switching option at the moment. That's okay. That plays. We got the Guzma in hand, ready to roll. Brooklet Hills here. So now it's just about deciding who's probably going to be the most dangerous. Who do I need to get rid of? The Ice Blade's going to be annoying. I want to make sure that I keep everyone outside of 50 damage from getting KO'd here. 
Who are you going to go after? Giratina? This adds consistency, doesn't it? We'll instruct at the moment. Oh, we got this. Had the switch coming. Could have uh, done the lily, but that was too risky, that play. Way too risky. So we'll just Shadow Impact. And we'll chuck the damage counters onto the Turos. Didn't really need Giratina. So you're going to be able to hit into whoever you like, which concerns me. Magilord. So who else is going with this? Interesting combination with the Magilord. It's got to be careful not to chuck the damage onto the Turos here. Just because you can hit for 50 and that's just dangerous. Yeah, so I need to put the damage onto someone else now. Don't like that Squirtle sitting there. Not in the slightest. Do I have a Guzma for next turn, which is kind of nice? We're going to go and get rid of you, because I just don't want you. Not here at the moment. We don't need anything out of that. Although I should have probably pulled because... Eh, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, have yourself an energy card. And we'll Shadow Impact. Well, the thing is, if I hit into the Turos, adds 40. Which is 80, 90 damage on the next turn, 130 plus 90 gets me there. So you got a choice. Hit Giratina or hit Turos? Here's my choice for you. Who do you want to KO? Giratina or Turos? If you're able to get your uh, towering splash off successfully, that's a huge concern for me. So that's the reason for the pairing, so you can snipe people and get them under 100. So who do you want? Do you want Giratina or do you want Turos? That's my question for you. So, what am I looking at here? I mean, I could Guzma, but I kind of need to keep the Guzmas, I think, just so I can get at something at some stage. If he hits Giratina, do I chuck Turos down or not? Probably not. I think this is... Okay, he wants Giratina. Do you use GX for that? Oh, yeah, of course. Let's go Tapu Koko while I make a decision then. Well, actually, that's the GX attack gone, so I don't have to worry about Magilord's GX attack anymore. 
And that's a big heavy Pokemon to get back out of the active. We're going to Distortion Door here. You and you. But I gotta remember, I don't have an NG right now to put on to Giratina. Which is the issue. So I can't attack with Giratina on this turn. But I can Guzma up and start hitting him with Turos. Which I think is what we do. And we basically say to him, hey, do you have... I'm actually going to do this as much as I don't want the Giratina back in. But we're basically saying, hey, do you have a Guzma or a Switch right now? I just need some Instruct with the Orangaroo. Charge could be important for later on. Just Raging Herd and chip into this Magilord. So do you have something to get? Something big and heavy out of the active. If you have Quagsire actually, that's huge. I should have hit the Ditto when I had the chance. Back on the first... Guzma. You do have Guzma. Gonna hit Mally of all things. Oh no, you're trying to lock me in, of course. Smart move. Smart move. So I now need to find my way into a switch. Should have actually got the Ultra Ball in hindsight. Did get the switch though. So that'll play. So we'll switch back into Giratina. We'll chuck a Turos down. Energy card to the Turos. We'll instruct here. We'll wait on this one. Chuck it to yourself. And we'll just Shadow Impact now. And put the damage onto the Turos. So that's how we'll play that. Wow. The amount of healing that you have is frustrating, but you're going to need more healing than that if you can't oust Giratina. Which 160? You can hurt Giratina quite a bit. And I now need another energy card. So, it's all about can I get an energy here? Playing the NG now is... Mm, I wish I didn't. Yes, I can. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll Distortion Door. We'll hit you two. We NG onto you. Mallies. Uh, onto you, sir. And on to... You, sir. I think we don't need this many Tauruses anymore. So Ultra Ball away, you two. Do I want anything at the moment? Probably not. We just want to get a nice value out of our Instruct from our Rangaroo. Do 
Treat out to a Giratina. And thankfully we can hit just enough numbers to get rid of this Alola Ninetales. It's taken a while to do it, but we do get rid of the Alola Ninetales finally. Got to make a decision whether I actually want the Shrine out there now. Possibly not. I don't think I've got any more Guzmas left. I think I'm only running two. So unfortunately I can't try and go after the Magilordini stage. Or anyone really. I've just got to hit through whoever he's got in front. Now another 40 onto you is okay because you can't get the 50. Oh that Quag's eyes. Mm, that's what I was not hoping for. There's the Sand Slush. Do have to be careful how many... how much more I put onto this Tauros. I mean his GX attack could be great at some stage. Because 8 damage counters on him. I reckon we're going to leave it like that at the moment. And probably put the damage into... Tapicoco or Giratina. Probably Giratina actually. Might self damage here. You can give up Slowpoke. You're really hoping to still have that. Sure, this is going to Magilord. Nope, go on to the Vulpix. But if you're not careful, we're going to Acrobike first. We don't want Malamar, so we'll just grab another Acrobike. Kind of need to keep energies available, I think. We'll Psychic Recharge onto our Turos. We're going to self-hurt with this Giratina now. We're going to Psychic Recharge to ourselves. We're going to energy attach the Orangaroo so I can get out of anyone if I need to. Shadow Impact. And put onto yourself at the moment. Grab a prize card. Because if the Magilord comes up, then I'm going in after Turos. Well, with Turos. If Vulpix comes up, I'm going in after, with the Turos. Because you do currently have enough damage counters on you to get a nice Mad Ball off. So 8 times 3, it's 240. It's enough to get anyone that I need you to get. Of the GX Pokemon. And you're going to have to start attacking pretty soon. Because if you don't get an attack off here, then I go within one prize card and it becomes a lot easier. The only other thought that I've just had is if you're able to Guzma up my Turos, that could be an issue because then I'm trying to two shot and that's a two prize card Pokemon. That's probably your way out of this actually, is if you have the Guzma. Wasn't the nine tails I was expecting. So Magilord is ready to attack. If 
only I had one more Guzma. Could Guzma it up and just get game. It's one Guzma short at the moment. What are you going to do? A judge would be good here. So, both judges are in the bin. Two judges' whistles are. Oh, so you are going to smash with Magilord. Well, that's game. You smash with Magilord, it's all over. Unless you can heal it somehow. Because 30 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. 80, 8 threes, 240, that's done. Just to confirm, you've got 60 on. 240 is exactly what it needs. Not going to attack. That doesn't bother me. We'll just retreat out of here to the Tyros. And we'll just pop our GX. There's the Magilord gone. Good game. Good game indeed. That was a very interesting match. Good game. Hello, ZXC. A lot of numbers of that. Welcome. Tyros, looks like you're the man to start. Apparently. Assuming this is Celosaur. Might not be though. See, Celosaur is tough. I can one-shot a Celosaur with the GX. If I get enough damage counters on. But it's a lot of damage counters to have to get on. Yeah, we'll draw a couple of cards. We will chuck the Turos down for now. Okay, it's certainly not Celosaur. Grab the NK here. Looks like you're apparently having an energy like this. We will Lily at this stage, just for four. Ouch. Okay. Don't really want another Turos down. There is a chance of still getting a Giratina. Leafy on deck. It's going to have healing, which is going to be an issue. You got free retreat with the Pheromosa. Which means you could actually be a quick evolution deck as well. Yeah, I have a feeling you might be here. We're just Glissapod. It's going to be an issue. That is for sure. Hitting for 120, which isn't enough for a Tyros. Believe it or not. We're going to have more Tyros down for the moment. Why not? We'll just become a Malamar Turos deck for some strange reason. <laughs> Since Giratina's not going to be here to help me out, we'll just judge you. And then we'll Acrobike here. And we'll bin Giratina. That was the whole idea of being able to actually use Giratina instead. But oh well, we shall... We are a little bit bricked, which is a bit of a concern. So we'll go and get our first Mally up anyway. And 
And we shall... Chuck it on to you for now. And we'll just Raging Herd for a whole 30 damage. Take that, Leafeon. Take that. <laughs> oh, wow. What a useless attack. This <laughs> is fully healed now. Well, I bricked myself. He did not brick himself. Acrobat, be clutch. Judge's whistle. That is clutch, because I have a judge in here, yeah. So we'll just go. I'm pretty sure I judged on the last turn. I did do a thing like that, didn't I? Yep. Nice. So we'll go NG card on to... Ah, this Tauros right here for now. Um, we shall now judge. When it wants to happen. There we go. Now we're judging. So we'll go and get myself another Mally down. And we'll chip in for a little bit more damage. <laughs> so this time he shouldn't hopefully be able to heal it. Oh, just most of it. <laughs> so what have we got coming? Another wind pod? Got another Cynthia. So the judge didn't get you stuck again. Gonna smack into the Turos, are you? Or are you gonna retreat? No, you're gonna retreat. This lays a lot of damage next. I'm gonna do some math here for a second. 120 plus another 100 plus the 10 is 210. That's enough to get this Galissapot. I'll take that trade. I'll happily take that trade. And we can switch to make it more awkward on the next turn. To get the KO. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I like that. I like that a lot. So right here we just Raging Hurt. Smash through Glissapod. 230 damage. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so what's next? And <laughs> it's only going higher. <laughs> this is hilarious. I mean, if you smack it again, you don't get the KO. And Turos just goes smack bang. So I think next is setting up one of my Turos's back here. Ready for an attack, Guzma. Ugh. That's not fun, that's just cruel. <laughs> that's alright though, that's alright though. I can live with that. Baby Turos, you're out. And it gives us a Tapi Coco to go down with now. Which is nice. We'll start setting up this guy. Do we continue shrining? think so. Just the moment I'm happy to shrine. So we'll just Raging Herd, smash through Glissapod. Get another two prize cards. And we'll see what you've got up for the next turn. So you're going to get rid of the shrine yourself, so I can put that back. That's no problem. That is no problem for me at all, to put a shrine back there.
<laughs> wow, now that is nice. Terras, I love you. I love you. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. And it is time to rate this deck. So, starting with damage here, you have the potential to one-shot anything with the Mad Ball GX and also the Raging Herd if you've got enough damage counters spread on to Turos and Turos GX. So the potential is there to absolutely smash through anything if you need to, so easily a 10 out of 10 for me. As for the defensive numbers, well, you're deliberately hurting yourself to power up your attacks. You're, you're more about here smashing through your opponent before they have a chance to smash through you. The defensive numbers, look, we've got a lot of one prize card Pokemon. Unfortunately, the Turos GX is a two prize card Pokemon. It's awkward. We're giving the defense here a five out of 10. As for the reliability, this is a tricky deck to get working because you know, you've got to make that choice about are you just going Turos straight away or are you going the Giratina line straight away? And the Turos line is a little bit awkward to get up and going if you're going that way, although it is possible. You need to know how to play this deck. It's a tricky deck to play. So for that reason, it's a 7 out of 10 for me. It does get working. You just, it's a tricky deck to play and it doesn't work every single time, obviously. So overall, what do I think? Well, it's a super fun deck to play. I love pulling the combo off. It's a 10 out of 10 for the fun factor of this deck, but overall I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 for its effectiveness.